One-way closed double G scents are used relatively more frequently. They are mostly used to prevent edema and obstruction in the ureter after a successful stone surgery. They can also be used to prevent ureteral compression due to tumor or other reasons. In open surgery, the fixation sutures at this end are usually used to connect the drummer to a urethral catheter. If open surgery is to be performed, this can be used for fixation. If endoscopic surgery is to be performed and not open surgery, it should be cut out again. We definitely do not recommend cutting it off. Since these clostals are hydrophilic, it is sufficient to wet them with sterile saline. There is also no need to use an oily lubricant. When we run our bagpipe through our double G stent, the tip of the stent will flatten. When it is flattened, sometimes a second hand may be needed here. When we place this clip by stretching one side, this stent will become flat and suitable for use. In order to advance it through the cystoscope or ureterorenoscope, we place our pusher on the other side of our stent, that is, on the free side. In this way, it can be advanced through our cystoscope. When we see that it reaches the ureter through our cystoscope, we can open the clip and play our recording. For ureterorenoscopy, mostly 4.7 break, 26 to 28 centimeter stents and long pusher are used. A short pusher is sufficient for cystoscopy. Six or 4.7 brush stents can be used. When we successfully place our stent in the renal collecting system, as we see when we open the clip and pull gaty, it first bends in the kidney. Then it bends in the bladder. The kidney tip and the bladder tip are thus positioned.